Hello guys, Chris P here and welcome back to another Sunday video. Today, my friends, I'm going to be testing the RX 580. As you can see in all of its glory right there, this one is the XFX GTS XXX Ed. So I guess we, we're going to call it Ed. RX 580 8GB OC+. Plus. So... That's it. Those of you interested in an RX 580 today should definitely pay the little bit extra and go for the 8 gig model because many games these days, even at 1080p, do benefit from that 8 gigabyte frame buffer. Now the RX 580 is actually almost four years old. It's released back in April of 2017 for 229 US uh, dollars. I believe that was for the 4 gig model, and the 8 gig model was just a little bit more expensive. But by the way, uh, if you're wondering why I put electrical tape there, it's just because it vibrates a little bit and um, it makes a little bit of a sound, so I put the electrical tape there and it's absolutely fine now. So, quick fix there, uh, somebody probably sent it back to the store because of that and that's why I could buy it refurbished for 150 euros with two years of warranty still from the store. Now, let's just install this beast in the system, it's actually quite chunky, you know. <laughs> Uh, and test some games here in late 2020 slash 2021, shall we? And here we go, we're now in the desktop, the RX 580 is showing up there in GPU-Z, MSI Afterburner, as well as the Radeon settings. You can see right there that it's the 8GB model, you can see all of the specs actually right here. Um, and we're running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM to avoid any CPU bottlenecks. Let's get to the first game, which is Cyberpunk 2077. We're playing it at 90 1920 by 1080 using the medium settings preset which actually looks pretty good in this one high texture quality uh, this, these are the settings take a look at them I am actually using fidelity FX here enabled but the resolution scaling is still at 100% so it's still at 1080p we're also using crowd density set to high let's go let's start counting our FPS and um, it's a completely playable experience guys if you're wondering if you want to play this game with the RX 580 8 gigabyte at least it will run absolutely fine GPU utilization is not hitting 99% so it's still kind of bugged this game suffers from many many issues and in AMD cards I've seen that they run around like 90% usage instead of 99% not that big of a deal it's still very playable but there's still some performance to be had with possible upcoming optimizations of course for reference the GTX 1066 gigabyte got but these FPS that we're getting right now at the 1080p resolution low settings so this is medium settings it looks way better and I actually didn't try fidelity FX when I tested the RX 580 in this game um, it's actually making a difference I believe like I can tell that things are a little bit sharper than usual VRAM utilization is at 5.1 to 5.3 gigabytes most of the time so that 4 gig variant will struggle a little bit it might actually get slightly slower FPS because of that I think this is a perfectly playable and enjoyable experience in cyberpunk it's a single-player title it's also a first-person game so you might want to aim for 60 FPS which is possible I think on average on low settings but I'd rather play it at the medium settings because it looks absolutely gorgeous it's running a broken game absolutely fine <laughs> and we're now playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla I'm playing at the 1080p resolution 100% resolution scale of course using the high settings with low anti-aliasing and no motion blur uh, anti-aliasing in this game is very very demanding let's start counting our FPS and as you can see RAM utilization is pretty decent at 8 gigabytes but VRAM utilization is at 4.1 gigabytes and it's probably gonna go up by a little bit again 4 gigs is cutting it close and I really recommend you to get an 8 gig card if you are in the market for the 580 now, this area of my benchmark run is really, really intensive. It gets kind of the same FPS as Cyberpunk, which is crazy, but this is on high, you know, the other game was on medium. Um, both of these games do have pretty bad optimization, though, I think, in my opinion. Uh, explosions don't really do much to your FPS. Uh, come on, come on, there we go. 
Okay, okay, so now we're up into the 50s, almost touching 60 FPS. Okay, we're now in the 60s outside of town areas. It's way less demanding. You can actually get 60 FPS sometimes. And yeah, I think the 580 is doing a pretty good job, guys, in this one. This is also a very, very demanding title. You can definitely play it at sub 60 FPS, in my opinion, again. Anyways, 51 FPS on average and 37 1% lows. Okay, it's time for Call of Duty Warzone. I'm playing at 1080p resolution, 1920x1080, using the high settings. You can call them ultra settings because pretty much everything is maxed out except for these settings right here, which I don't like. Let's go to the downtown area right here, which is pretty demanding. I'm gonna try to go to the most demanding street, but um, there's a ton of people dropping here. Okay, we got an M4 from Call of Duty Black Ops, it seems like. Pretty decent. I'm playing uh, quads, actually, like... the. the the teams are supposedly made of four people. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I'm only a duo, of course, because I gotta be at a big disadvantage every single time. It's also not stuttering whatsoever. We're approaching the most demanding street. Yes, that way. Uh, Alright, we're fine. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die, guys. Where is he? Yeah, he's here. Alright, we got him. Um... More people? No? All right, maybe there? No. Yeah, this is it. Uh, over here, it's usually extremely demanding. It drops into the 60, 69 there. Pretty good, nice. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't seem to drop too much here. It probably won't drop from 60 FPS, which is what you want ultimately for a very nice experience. Again, make sure that you have the 8 gigabyte model if you want the highest settings, because as you can see, we're utilizing 7.5 gigabytes. Throw an airstrike there. Okay. Alright. It's fine. We're good. Let's wait for them now. There's one of them. Ah, come on. Alright, let's go. Many people over here. Got him. Okay. More of them. Oh, behind me. Come on. And since I was enjoying the experience in Modern Warfare, let's play some Black Ops Cold War, shall we? I'm playing it at 1080p resolution using the Ultra settings. Again, this is pretty much the same settings as Modern Warfare, as you can see. Just motion blur disabled and this one disabled as well because it introduces some problems. Uh, VRAM usage target is actually set to high because I found that it does improve your FPS by a little bit. All right, here we go, my friends. Uh, V-Ram utilization is already up there, as you can see. Uh, yeah, it's quite high in these Call of Duty titles. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yep, the reload, the timing was real. I didn't die yet, somehow. I'm just camping, you know, but... Uh, all right, are we good? No? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, you know, let's go. Let's go with the shotgun. Shot! All right, we're good. Oh my god. We're getting 70 FPS here, so this is definitely more demanding than Modern Warfare or Warzone. And um, that's kind of interesting because this is Nuketown, you know? The map is much smaller than the Warzone map, obviously. Oh boy. Now, every time you die, there's still a stutter that happens, so that might actually uh, lower our wind set lows a little bit. Come on. A Mech 10 M or... Whatever that is. How is that better than this weapon that I'm using at a distance? I just don't understand this. Uh, what? She was behind the planks. She was like clipping into them. Is this cyberpunk now? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. We got this. Oh, come on. Not from behind, dude. I think I should just camp. But at the same time, I don't want to because I don't like campers. So, oh, you're... Yep. No! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Oh yeah, it's Nuketown. <laughs> you know what? Good thing I played Modern Warfare first, because I'm not enjoying this experience here. Um, Alright, you know what? Fire effects seem to drop our FPS by a little bit there, into the 50s. Not bad, you know, it's not a bad experience, but if you really want 60 plus all of the time, you gotta drop a couple of settings, you know? I, I'm done with this game, campers everywhere, I don't like this. <laughs> so it is time for Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm playing at 1080p resolution using the balanced preset right here. I just changed the anisotropic filtering to 16x because, well, it doesn't really affect your FPS. But yeah, everything else is basically set to medium or high, mostly medium settings. It looks looks amazing, 
Uh, textures are of course on ultra, so everything is fine in that regard. I forgot to turn off motion blur, but not gonna do so because my capture card will break as soon as I change a setting here in this game, unfortunately. So it's already dropping from 60 FPS, by the way. Oh gosh, Roach, what are you doing, Roach? I was kind of expecting closer to 60 FPS here, or most of the time 60 plus at the medium settings. It's not really medium because the game has no presets, it's a balanced preset. Uh, but yeah, the game's looking really, really good like this. All right, Roach. Roach is very tired right now. Let's calm him down. Calm down, boy. Easy, boy. Go easy, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy, go easy. Have some food, Roach. Come on, I got a benchmark to do. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Roach, Roach. By the way, look at that VRAM utilization. It's above 4 gigabytes, I told you. Alright, it drops into the low 50s here, which means that in Saint Denis, which is slightly more demanding than this, it's gonna drop into like 50, 48, something like that. Still very playable, friends. I totally have zero issues playing like this, and I actually play like this, because most of the time, it's around 60. Alright, time to go competitive with Rainbow Six Siege. We're playing it at the 1080p resolution, of course, 1920 by 1080, 90 FOV, using the high settings preset. I just changed the render scaling here of the TAA to 100%, so we are at native 1080p. Oh, by the way, we're also using the Vulkan API, as you can see right there. 100 plus FPS pretty much at all times. Let's start counting those frames. This is amazing. This is actually a high refresh rate experience as well. They're gonna see us buddy oh boy all right i i'm not feeling comfortable here okay they're, they're just they're breaking everything guys let's see if i can spot anybody uh all right our boys are doing it oh 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 okay okay i got another one there all right that's good that's another one there free fire is real and we got another one nice <laughs> what is this what the heck is that i don't even know you know what i'm gonna go now I, oh, come on. <laughs> nice. Okay, good job. 143 FPS average. 1% lows off 129. Damn, this is consistent. Okay, round two now. Let's start counting the frames. It's probably going to be very similar because, well, as you saw by the averages and 1% lows, there is not much variation to it, which is nice. I think I'm going behind them right now. Yep, all right. There we go, two kills, good stuff. Oh, oh, nice, another one. Okay, we got this, we got this. Hoo, boy. Right, we're outside. Usually outside we get slightly less FPS and it's showing right now. Well, not right now, but we were getting 120s, 130s. Uh, it's still perfectly smooth, guys. It's a very, very, very good experience. Do make sure you have like a Ryzen 3 3100 if you want to get these FPS that we're getting right now. Oh, oh, ouch. All right. Well, that's enough for Rainbow Six Siege. Hi, how are you? That's good. Let's go. I'm on it. What? This is, of course, Watch Dogs Legion right now. I'm playing with DirectX 12. This is the high settings preset, and I just disabled motion blur, of course, as usual. Over on the display settings, RX 580, 1080p resolution, 80 FOV. And uh, let's go, let's do this. Okay, so high settings at 1080p. Seems to be pretty damn playable, to no one's surprise, probably. Well, this game's kind of demanding as well. It's not as demanding as Valhalla or Cyberpunk, obviously. But it's also pretty demanding and people were saying that it was very poorly optimized when it came out. But now that we've gotten like a couple of more games that are way less optimized than this, I think the performance in this one is actually okay. It's not good, but it's playable, guys. High settings looks okay. Um, it, it runs well above like 40 FPS at all times, it doesn't have the water bug anymore. Okay, water right there with reflections and stuff, FPS are not dropping anymore as I told you, this is great. Now my friend with the GTX 980, which should perform around the same as the RX 580 in a lot of games, he actually played this game the entire way through and he 
enjoyed it a lot. He really likes the Watch Dogs games and yeah, he could definitely play the game with the 980. So this is definitely playable, my friends. If you want to play this game, even the 4 gig variant of this card will do a fine job. As you can see, the VRAM is just below 4 gigabytes of usage. And well, yeah, it's looking pretty okay <laughs> again <laughs> so this is apex legends now and we're playing at 1080p resolution tsaa anti-aliasing is enabled high textures and isotropic at 16x and everything else on the lowest settings this is how i usually play the game 1080p resolution as well and 110 fov okay here we go this is the most demanding map out of the three and uh, we're gonna go to the epicenter which is the most demanding area as well but right now looking at the entire map from above it's doing pretty well it's around 60 FPS, sometimes it does drop into the 50s. Uh, I think there are two more squads going to the epicenter area. I don't like this, friends. Okay, we're here, let's start counting the FPS. And uh, yeah, you guys grab that because I surely can't do anything in this game, probably. I don't know. Now, nah, usually I am kind of decent in Apex. I, I like to think that at least. <laughs> okay, are we good? But I haven't played this game in a while. Oh boy. Oh, come on, guys. Don't die. Don't die on me. They have good shields. I'm gonna leave, guys. I'm just gonna... Ooh, what are you doing here? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is bad. This is bad right now. Okay, got one. And I don't have more bullets. I am, I'm gonna go. So we're not gonna check out the most demanding spot as of yet. Oh. I got shield somehow. Okay, this is kind of a high refresh rate experience at these settings. Not bad at all. It's not really as high refresh rate of an experience as I'd like, but I'm not complaining here. It's performing really well. Oh boy, oh boy. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, it's now. Guys, it's over, it's over. I'm gonna die now. Oh my God, oh my God. No, 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 no. FPS are dropping from 100, as you can see. Oh. Jeez! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There's more guys over there. Oh, oh my God! Okay, this is Horizon Zero Dawn, and we're playing it at 1080p resolution uh, with 80 FOV and the original uh, PlayStation settings. I'm just gonna disable the motion blur. You there? I you come to help. I didn't. I, I just came to here. benchmark. Anyways, let's start counting the FPS. 60, right there. The game is actually eating 6.5 gigabytes of VRAM at medium settings or original settings. So that is insane. Look at the textures. They they do look decent, you know, but it's it's is it 6.5 gigabytes of VRAM decent? I don't think so. Ah oh, yes. Every time I play this game, the lens flares are just so beautiful. I like it. It's over exaggerated, I know, but you know what? It's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. All right, there they are, the big boys. We're gonna attack them, they're gonna protect themselves, and they're gonna kill us. Oh, boy. All right, yeah, that's what happens when you mess around with one of these. Wow, okay, okay. No, don't you do that to me. This is very demanding, by the way, with the fire effects and stuff. And the 580 is still doing a fantastic job here. Oh gosh, what are you throwing at me? Okay then, okay, I don't want this, I don't want this. It's actually cold enough already in my room. That's why the 580 is at 60 something degrees Celsius sometimes. Again, it's not a 60 FPS experience, but this game is also not very well optimized. All in all, I think you can definitely have a ton of fun with the 580 playing this game. Time for GTA 5. We're playing it at the 1080p resolution using these settings right here. Very high. Uh, grass is set to high because it's very demanding. Post effects is on normal because I don't like the effects that it gives. And everything is turned off in the advanced settings. Alright, here we go. We're getting extremely nice FPS, of course. This game is old by today's standards. It still looks very good, of course, but it's not hard to run whatsoever. You can run it in a potato. And I showed it with the GT420 last week, for example. Yes, that's a 10-year-old card that was not really meant for gaming, and it ran GTA 5 at 30 plus FPS, 800 by 600 resolution. Now, I always get a ton of comments saying that 
for some reason your RX 580 is not getting these FPS. Well, first of all, check your CPU. Your CPU might be bottlenecking it. Again, you only need a Ryzen 3 3100 to achieve these FPS, so it's not like an out of this world result. And second, actually see if MSAA anti-aliasing is enabled, because if it is, uh, and for example, if you set that to 8x, you will get like 40 FPS, so yeah, just check that. And okay, here we go. I'm, I'm trying not to hit anybody as I usually do. People, come on, get out of the way. We're getting extremely nice frames. God damn it. Who needs two feet anyways? Oh my gosh. Okay, here's a jump. And the car didn't explode. Very nice. FPS are gonna drop now because we're approaching this area with tons of grass details and stuff. But as long as you leave the grass quality on high, it won't drop from 60. If you have it on like ultra settings, it will actually drop into the 50s and maybe high 40s. Hi Jack, how are you doing? Alright, this is actually pretty smooth, guys. 107 FPS on average and 78 1% lows. Very, very nice. Alright, it's time for Fortnite with that beautiful music in the background right now. 1080p resolution using the high settings preset and DirectX 12. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I've already played a game here with the RX 580. And uh, unfortunately, it seems like they actually broke the game with the performance update and stuff. It's, it's actually stuttering more than usual. You know what? The stuttering issue that I was talking about, it might actually have been just in the first game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is bad. Yeah, because right now it's, it's absolutely smooth. Like, there's no stuttering issues anymore. I, I, there's one stutter right there, by the way, but... Yeah, I really think that the game was just loading everything. That's been an issue with Fortnite for a long time, actually. But yeah, inside of bushes, 80 FPS. That's really, really nice. In this bush right here, it's a little bit more demanding. You know what? If you have a 60 Hertz monitor, I think I'd just play on high. Unless you are a competitive person, of course, and you want to spot people better. So the less details in the screen, the better. What is... What the... Why? 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 No, 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 no. I don't want to lose my shields. I worked for that. Die. Yes. Very nice, buddy. Very nice. What? Why, bots? Why? Why do you insist in killing me? I don't understand this. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, there are enemies there. All right. Okay. I suck at this game. <laughs> Hello, people! What's up? Yay! Let's just kill everybody. What? What is happening? Where is he? There he is. Okay. I think our boy's gonna get him. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay. Okay, I got his shields. That is nice. Um, I don't know. Oh, boy. Okay. 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 That's another one, I think. Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? All right. Let's go with this. Uh, we got them. Well, he got them. What is this? What the heck just happened? I think it's now that we lose, my friends. Can he get the second? He can get the second one. Wow. All right. He's carrying us. He's literally carrying us. No, unfortunately, they got him from the back. God damn it. Anyways, 96 FPS average, 71% lows, couple of stutters here and there, but it's definitely playable. And it's time for CSGO. I know, very lightweight game, we're playing it at 1080p with these settings right here. Alright, let's unlock our FPS and see the beautiful Ryzen 7 3700X at work, because this is more of a CPU demanding title. Of course, if you don't have a 580, you aren't gonna be getting these FPS. The Ryzen 7 is definitely pushing our 580 to the limits. By the way, you'll get the same FPS again, or around the same at least, with a Ryzen 3 3300X with the same single core performance. And uh, okay, okay, it's all good, it's all good. Everything is very smooth and playable, as you can see, very responsive as well. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, my internet is sucking a little bit. Or maybe it's the server. It's actually the server is going red sometimes. Yeah. Okay, all right. There we go. There we go. We can do this. You know what? I'm actually using a new capture card that I bought. And I can definitely tell you there is a massive difference in input lag compared to the other one. I'm playing a lot better, hitting way more of those shots. the delay there <laughs> got him <laughs> good stuff friends 
Hello. Buddy, buddy, hello. Oh, come on. So time for my favorite game of all time. It's PUBG. I tend to die instantly in this one for some reason or, or just spend 10 minutes walking and then die. Anyways, 1920 by 1080, 100% resolution scale with the high settings preset. Okay, we're going. No one is dropping with us, which is amazing. That means that I'll just spend 10 minutes walking around, waiting to die, and let's start counting our FPS. So, uh, as you can see, this is very nice. PUBG is actually stutter-free, while Fortnite is completely broken. So, this is very interesting to see, because a couple of years ago, it was the other way around. Okay, I really want to go to the boot camp area, but uh, I'm probably gonna die very, very quickly if I do so. So, um, I'm not sure what to do right now. Speaking of games that I don't particularly like, Battlefield 5 um, had some corrupted files here in my PC, so I can't really open it. By the way, for those of you interested in third-person modes, you get 117 FPS, and in first person you get 120 FPS, so 3 FPS difference there, I guess. You know what, I'm kind of impressed still that we're getting such high FPS, even in this area right here. This is a very smooth experience, if you have a high refresh rate monitor, uh, you can play on high settings at 1080p. I was aiming for like an 80 FPS average experience, I didn't really imagine that we'd get uh, close to 120 FPS on average. And I'm gonna leave it like that because, well, we can't really find anybody <laughs> and this is shadow of the tomb raider i'm gonna run the benchmark run and we're playing it at the 1080p resolution with smaa anti-aliasing and the highest settings preset i just disabled motion blur and here we go let's start counting our fps and it seems like it is right around 60 what is wrong okay it was like out of focus her face i guess it's the depth of field and there she goes, looking at the child there. I don't understand this scene. I, I just can't understand this scene. Why? Now, it does drop from 60 FPS quite a bit. We saw, like, low 50s there. But it's still pretty good. And, of course, you can always uh, lower the graphic settings to, like, high or medium. High is probably gonna give you 60 plus at all times, so... Uh, just do that if you, that's the experience you want. VRAM utilization, by the way, 6.5 gigabytes. Again, the 4 gig card would probably get a little bit less performance because of that. I was gonna say, finally, people are dressed up, but then that guy still has his thong there. At least this one isn't showing his butt, so that is good. We got 73 FPS average, 54 1% lows. Let's check out the in-game results now, uh, which should be the same. 73 FPS average, 54 minimum. So, pretty good stuff. You can definitely play this game, of course. And finally, let's finish this one up with Valorant. I know it's like a 584 Valorant is totally overkill. It's obviously gonna play this game very well. By the way, highest settings at uh, 1080p resolution with 4x MSAA anti-aliasing. Every time I don't include Valorant, even in higher-end GPUs, you guys get mad at me. So here it is, my friends. Let's enjoy some gameplay. <laughs> Okay, let's warm up right now, friends. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I like this game. Okay, here we go. Let's start counting our FPS. And uh, we're actually slightly CPU bottlenecked in this one. The game is so easy to run that the 580 doesn't even reach 99% usage most of the time. Um, okay, got him. All right. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, that was really messy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, we can, we can do this. We can finish first here. We got a uh, pretty nice FPS. We got a uh, pretty good uh, capture card now. And, all right, we, we're headshotting them all. That is great. Um, now, oh, God, the, the, how am I doing this? I don't even know the recoil co uh, the pattern, you know. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh no, come on, sandwich! Now, if you play on low, you can actually get more FPS, uh, of course, that, that, that's obvious. But the CPU has to work a little bit less on low settings as well. I know that there's a guy around here. I heard him. What are you doing? Don't ruin my party! What the heck are you doing here, Jesus? 
I love these insta headshots. I think the hitbox of the head of the guys are, is actually a little bit bigger than the actual head model, so it's interesting. <laughs> Boy, what the heck was that? No! Okay, 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 okay. I still got the guy. Guys, come to me. Don't go to that killjoy guy. Please. I, I need the kills. I need to win this. No! How did you see... How did he see so many people? I don't understand. I Okay, anyways. Very nice FPS. So my friend, you have made it. You made it to the end of the video. This was probably a big one because, well, it's a Sunday video, so those are always big. But yeah, let's ask the question. Do I recommend the RX 588 GB in late 2020 slash 2021? Yes, I do. But only if you can find one for like a hundred bucks, maybe a hundred and twenty. If you're buying brand new, maybe like a hundred and forty or 150 is the maximum I'd pay for one of these. It has actually very similar performance to a GTX 1650 Super, but it also has the eight gigs of VRAM. So that's an advantage over the Super there. Now, during the year, it has actually been available for 150 euros, brand new, but the problem is, right now, everything is unavailable. Everything is out of stock. People are just buying every GPU out there. And you can only buy these for like 200 euros. And for that price, just skip it. But at its normal prices, the 580 is a heck of a deal, friends. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.